such a time as this. And welcome, welcome, welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent, as a silent witness. I want to start off with the scripture as always. Psalm 139, 13, for you formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul, my soul, my very soul knows it very well. There you have the psalmist <clears throat> recounting how it is God who puts people together and makes them. And guess what? Whether you're black, Brown, white, yellow, green. God makes us all. What you have, you have the enemy trying to split us up. Trying to split us up into tribes. And he's trying to split us along, or, or, along racial color lines. It is good when you see people stand up to the foolishness and the division that the enemy of God tries to put on us. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I've seen this clip before, and I'm going to add another one to it, but apparently the head coach of the Boston Celtics, I saw this some time ago, and I, hey, let's visit it. Someone tried to do that to him, tried to make it an issue that he was a, a black coach facing another black coach. Look what he did. Vince in the back left. Hey, Joe. Uh, Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. For the first time since 1975, this is the NBA Finals where you have two black head coaches. Uh, given the plight sometimes of black head coaches in the NBA, do you think this is a significant moment? Do you take pride in this? How do you view this or do you not see it at all? I wonder how many of those have been Christian coaches. Next, next. <clears throat> Trying to force us to see it through the lenses by which they want us to see the world through color. Color does not define me. Yes, I'm black. You may be white, but if that's the sum total of who you are, you you're terrible. You, you, you are terrible. He leans into this even more. Now, I, granted, I'll tell you, there are some real differences between evangelicals and Catholics, some significant ones. Apparently, this, this guy is Catholic. But again, he leans into it. half African American, half Italian. And so, but most importantly, the decision that I made in my life, I've decided to not look at my lens through either one of those, and I've decided to look at my lens through that of which is Christianity. And so my identity is in, in him first, and that comes before anything else. And that's just been important to me because uh, what he's done for me in my life, uh, the people that I have around me that have brought me there, and it's important for my wife, and it's important for my family. It doesn't mean that it's any more important than any other lens to which we can look at. Uh, but for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, and we're going to look at the lens of life through that of Christianity and, and everything that comes with it. Now, I, I, beg, to date, I beg to differ with him, but yeah, yeah it, that is the most important lens to look, look at things. I disagree with him on that. Yes, no, through the lens by which God gives us, that is the most important lens by which we are to look at the world. But hats off to him. Um, congratulations. I, ha I hear his team has won. <clears throat> Uh, June seventeenth, they won the championship. I know nothing about basketball. I stopped following those clowns years ago. I mean, I stopped watching basketball a long time ago. But hats off to him. I'm glad he won, and I'm glad he has enough courage, courage to stand against the foolishness um, that they put on us, trying to divide us on racial lines. He did it publicly and without shame. To that, I say hats off. Congratulations. You're such a time as this.